Well, it's a fact. Some of the best campsites are at the end of long dirt roads. And chances are when you get there, everything inside your trailer is covered in a layer of dust. Your bedding, your pillowcases, your countertops, everything. I can show you how to prevent that from happening. It's called the Bernoulli Principle. It's something that pilots are aware of because it can affect the instrumentation in their cockpits, namely the altimeter and the airspeed indicator. Basically, when you take a box and move it through the air, it creates relative low pressure inside the box. Only in this case, the box is your trailer. So what does this mean? It means that when you're driving down the road, you're pulling a vacuum cleaner behind you because of the low pressure on the inside, high pressure on the outside. Even the smallest gaps in your weather stripping can be a source of a problem. A gap like this down at the bottom of your door or in the back by your cargo door, around the cargo door somewhere, will create a constant plume of dust coming into your trailer. And no matter how good a job you do on your weather stripping, no matter how much money you spend, I guarantee you there's going to be gaps, especially around the rear doors and, of course, the bottom of that side door. You can't possibly seal it up. Some, a gap the size of, 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 as big around as a pencil lead will be a constant plume of dust coming in. And that dust is going to settle everywhere and make a mess. When you get to where you're going, you're going to open the door, walk into your trailer and go, oh my goodness. I bet that's happened to a lot of you. I know it's happened to me. Not anymore, though. So now I know you're asking yourself, so what about these vents that come on the sides of these trailers? Usually one at the top left corner, and sometimes one down here at the lower right rear corner. What about these? Don't they help? And the short answer to that is no, they don't. Let me show you why. Now normally a cargo trailer will come with uh, these type of vents. Uh, in this case, mine came with a vent on the uh, upper left corner, as most of them do. So the problem is that this being a V nose, the wind comes shooting off the front of this, off the face of this V here, past the front of this, and instead of the wind being able to go in and pushing in, it actually creates a suction right here. This applies to all trailers though. I've modified regular uh, travel trailers uh, in such a way to make it so that they didn't uh, suck the dust in either. Because you see what you want to do is you want to create high pressure on the inside of your trailer instead of having it be low pressure. By creating high pressure that dust won't be coming in. Now you can see the original vent on my trailer but I modified it and made a uh, sheet metal scoop that's designed to catch the wind coming off the front of the trailer in this video now you can see I did two driving tests one before I put that scoop on and one after the scoop was put on in this first video you can see that the streamers when I start to move the trailer they actually get sucked in <laughs> in the second video here after I start driving you can see that those streamers actually blow out like they're supposed to. And what about the vent back here in the lower right corner? Well, I took mine off. I mean, what's the point of having this one pull air out, which it was designed to do, when the front one was pulling air out at the same time? Talk about a vacuum inside the trailer. What a mess. We'd have dust everywhere. Now, I saw a custom off-road trailer that had one of these vents on the front like this of the V. That would catch a lot of air. That would force a lot of air inside your trailer. So this is one option for you. As the air comes off the front of the trailer, it most likely rejoins back here to the face of the trailer. I don't know that for sure, but I'm thinking it probably would. So another option you might have is taking this vent 
and putting it up high on the rear corner. Now, these won't allow water or rainwater to go into your trailer because of the way they're designed inside. The air comes through this way, any rain comes through, is going to get blocked by this baffle and rain won't make a 90 degree turn. It's got to, this would be the vent, this would be right here on the inside of your trailer. Sandwiching the wall like this. Rain won't make a 90 degree turn like that. So it's going to drain out the drain hole down here in the bottom. The one problem is, if you find yourself driving in a blizzard, snow will make that 90 degree turn. So that's one thing that with these vents you got to keep in mind. If you run into a blizzard, now a light snowstorm isn't going to do much. But we went through a heavy blizzard, the kind where you can barely see in front of you. And the snow was making this 90 degree turn and it put a lot of snow inside my trailer. <laughs> and I learned that if you're going to enter a snowstorm, stop, pull over to the side of the road, put some duct tape across the front of this. That'll save you some problems. So even though you do the best job you can on your door seals and you replace them regularly, that won't save you. You've got to pressurize the inside. Well, I hope I gave you some information you can use. If I did, please like, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that lets you know when I put out another video. And to help me on YouTube, please subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and, and it'll help build my channel. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you around.